Oh, another thing I worked on, and this was on Friday as well. So I got a lot done Friday, just not a lot related to like the side hustle. That Squishmallow did have the 20% discount on it too, so 13 bucks. Robert, a viewer of the channel, did order these next two items. Said thanks, looking forward to receiving this. Love the channel, happy holidays. Can you give me my store a, sh a shout out? Words are hard. Did you tell me what your store is? <laughs> I don't know if I know your store name. Let me see. You see, I see your name, but I don't see your store name. Okay, so anyways, I don't know your store name. I'm sorry. It's not, it doesn't show when you order. It just show, it shows me your real name. Okay, so you bought, oh yeah, this is the best offer for five bucks. Sold out of FL 104. So yeah, the other thing I did on Friday is I, I did a bunch of Christmas shopping online. It's weird because I'm, I'm normally the uh, go out Christmas shopping kind of person. Like I actually enjoy going out to the Black Friday crowds, but my brother didn't visit this year and it just felt weird without him. So I decided to just do it all online and I got, I don't know, I might've gotten some good deals. Here's a uh, Globe pencil sharpener. This was in the ashtray buy I did and I sold it for five bucks plus shipping. I would say it's, it wasn't bad doing it online. Uh, I got some deals. I think I bought almost everything my kids wanted that I was going to be purchasing for them. Of course, you know, Santa might purchase some too. <laughs> FL, okay, so this is in a box. Perfect combination. Let me look at the picture. I have trouble pulling these LPs. Ah, here we go. AC something or other. Okay, so we got that taken care of. And uh, let's see, can I find this record easily? I feel like I just saw it. Yeah, here it is. St Stacy Lattislaw and Johnny Gill. Perfect combination. LP record. I actually don't know that one, but it sold for five bucks plus shipping. 575, something like that. So no, I think that's, you know, pretty productive on Friday. And then, you know, I'll say this at Thanksgiving, everyone bought, brought food, like all the family. There was a bunch of people there, probably like 25, 30 people there, maybe 30. And with that, Snowy Evergreen set of five sold. There was some really good food. You know, I, I do kind of like more of a potluck style, um, Thanksgiving. Actually, I did a potluck wedding. When me and Tina got married, we did potluck because, well, basically because we were broke, but we got married very young and uh, had no money. So we did. <laughs> I remember I bought her wedding dress with coins I had saved up for years. My dad had saved up too, his coin collection and my coin collection. It wasn't like special coins, it was just quarters, although it was probably full of real silver now that I think about it. Because back then, was this a set of, set of five? This is a set of six. Um, so we did a potluck wedding because I like potluck so much. Cause here's the thing with potluck, you get the best of everyone's cooking, right? Everyone cooks what they're good at. And, uh, you know, with catering, I don't know. I've never had catering where I was like, oh, this is so amazing. I've never been that impressed by catering. Now, if you're in a catering company and you think you've got some great catering, I'm happy to eat it for free. <laughs> But uh, I'm just not that into catering. I can't find this either. I have so much trouble finding these department 56 things. <sighs> Let me go put down the, the camera again. This says it's an FL 102. That's the problem. But yeah, so with the potluck, we brought deviled eggs or angel eggs as my mom calls them. We bought, brought a dip, actually a really good dip. Tina found the recipe for that was really good. It was this jalapeno popper dip and chips. We were like in charge of some appetizers. We did pigs in a blanket and we used the world's best recipes version, the one on my other YouTube channel with the everything bagel seasoning. And I'm telling you, you gotta put some everything bagel seasoning on your, on your pigs in a blanket because it's delicious. Set of five evergreens, department 56 sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. And that was no discount, <laughs> nice. It's really weird how like sometimes the discount applies and sometimes it doesn't. It's just, you've got to actually type it in the box. And I think maybe people don't see the discount or don't know to type it in or I don't know. Should I reach out and partially refund them? What do you guys think? What would you do? I don't plan on doing that unless you guys do an outcry saying I should. Maybe I will think about it. Um, sold Luke Combs LP record. This is, uh, which one? What you see is what you get. And it's actually funny because at dinner for Thanksgiving, my cousin's husband was there and he just went to California and he said, hey, I met Luke Combs in the airport on the way back to Florida and got his autograph. And my cousin, my niece got his autograph and stuff like that. And so I guess they met Luke Combs. I asked him if he had a red solo cup. They, he said no. He said he was super nice. That sold for $18.99 plus shipping, which is cool. I've seen him in person at Hurricane Games, Carolina Hurricane Games. He does go to those sometimes, but I've never actually talked to him. But I guess he's a nice guy. And I like his music. I think he needs... The only complaint I'd have is a lot of his songs sound similar, but I think they're good. Oh, and speaking of that, Tina's going to a concert tonight, and I always get it wrong. Either Martina McBride or... Hmm, who else could it be? 
Reba Mac. No, it's not. It's not Reba. And it's not... I think it's Martina McBride. I think she's going to Martina McBride concert tonight, which will be fun for her. She loves concerts. I'm not that into concerts, to be honest. I like just listening to music on like my computer or my car. Um, I feel like the concert audio quality is not as good as the CD, which it probably isn't, right? Because of acoustics and stuff like that. This Porgy sold. He does not have the tag he's used. I'm in a whatnot auction for like three bucks, four bucks. Sold them for 11 plus shipping. Not a great profit. <laughs> I have been buying a ton of stuff on whatnot. Although this stuff I really am gonna resell. The lounge fly I'll resell eventually, but stuff I have no real connection to. Like I bought a huge lot of Funko Pops that I'm gonna sell and I got a decent deal on them. Not an amazing deal, but I think I can make a profit on them because there's some good ones in there. FL 101, we sold some owls. Or I might just, or I might just do a whatnot auction of Funko Pops, but I don't feel like I'd make nearly as much money doing it that way. But I don't know, it would be quicker and easier. Oh, this is not gonna come out on this side. Okay, I gotta go around the other side for this. So anyways, then we get to Saturday, which was yesterday. And the goal was to do some yard sales and get a bunch of good footage and finds and stuff like that. But me and my mom looked Friday night and there was only like six yard sales. And most of them started on Friday. And you know, I hadn't gone out Friday. So it was gonna be me going the second day to six yard sales. And then I was like, well, I could go to another town, but it was similar, only a couple yard sales in each town. And it just didn't make sense really, to be honest. So I decided not to do that. And instead, oh wow, these are bigger than I thought. And instead just, you know, be productive at home. So I went ahead and edited more footage. Look at me editing so much footage this week uh, in the morning until like 11 o'clock because I woke up pretty early, like seven. So these are some owls, like glass owls. The brand on it just says Owl by Andre 6037. And these sold for 19 bucks plus shipping. So not a bad one if you're looking for owls. Check out those maybe. But then after that, okay, so this was like kind of an accident that I stumbled into it, but it was a pretty cool accident. So my kids really like Shrek, Puss in Boots, all that, those videos, those movies, okay? Even though like they're kind of getting long in the tooth, they do enjoy them. And my nephew up in Connecticut absolutely loves Puss in Boots. He has all these like uh, Puss in Boots shirts and things like that. And so I was trying to find a movie to go see because I thought it'd be kind of a cool part of Thanksgiving break to go see a movie with the kids. And I was like, oh wow, Puss in Boots is out because it's got a showing on Saturday at two o'clock. I'm gonna go see that with the kids. That's awesome. Cause we were looking forward to that. And uh, I buy the tickets. I call my sister, I say, hey, let's go see Puss in Boots on Saturday as a family. It'll be fun. And she's like, yeah, let's do it. So she bought tickets too. And then I call my parents and they're like, yeah, sure, we'll do it. And so they bought tickets. So it was like a huge, I think it was like uh, 14 of us or something that went to see Puss in Boots. But I called my brother and I told him I'm going to see it. And he's like, oh, Corey loves that. I'm gonna get him tickets too. So he went up in Connecticut and saw Puss in Boots. So it was like a whole giant family thing. Everyone in the family went and saw it. I saw this Harley Davidson plush for 19, $24 plus shipping. New in box, not in the perfect condition. Like it's definitely been in a garage, not my garage. My garage isn't dusty, not really. I clean it enough so that it's not usually very dusty, but I just cleaned it after I did all the drywall. But someone had a dusty garage that that was in, but it sold for $24 plus shipping. Let's see if they got the discount on this. They did get the discount, okay. But yeah, anyways, all that to say, my son comes up to me, he's like, dad, you know, he's like, he's a teenager, he's 14. He's like, dad, we're not seeing Puss in Boots. I said, why not? He's like, we can't be. It's not out until December 18th or whatever. <laughs> it's not out yet. So we can't be seeing it. I'm like, but, but we got tickets for it. He's like, it must be the first one. I was like, no, we got tickets for Puss in Boots. And I showed him the tickets and he's like, well, it's so weird. It's not coming out. And it turns out, little, to, little did I know, that it, it literally isn't coming out. Elijah's right. It's not coming out till like in December. But apparently there was like a special preview day Hey, look, I have an NES game. I didn't know that. Um, there was a special preview day on Saturday where they just had one showing. And that was like nationwide, like anyone could have gone to it, but they didn't advertise it at all. And so I was like, just kind of lucky that I got to go see that. And we'll talk about that in a minute. We'll talk about the movie, what else happened, but I need to get a new battery. I sold this Jack Acid Society Black Book. I don't know what this is. A Minute Man's Code 18 New Subver... I don't know what this is. Pogo is best known for advice from the flounder. Boring within and without. I don't know. Sold this for $7.50 plus shipping. It's like a comic book. All right, I'll get a new battery. I'll be right back. New battery, ready to go. I sold a pin. Oh man, these are hard to find. So yeah, Puss in Boots was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. It was a fun movie. 
Good music. Highly recommend that one. When it comes out, or maybe you already saw it. I need to call my brother and see if his kid liked it because I know he loves Puss in Boots. But everyone that was with us liked it. Even my mom liked it, which I was surprised about. I guess, okay, so one thing. Callie, this thing sold for 18 bucks. Callie said it was a little scary. She's eight. So just so you know, you know, if it reminded me, there was a moment or two, like in Zootopia, where there was like those angry animals that were like evil, uh, the bad guys. And that scared my kids too. My other two are old enough so that it wasn't gonna scare them regardless, but Callie definitely got scared at the angry wolf in Puss in Boots. So if you have a kid that scares easy, maybe give it a, give it a miss for now. Hey, look, here's a Sony charger. That's not the right one. Still looking for that Sony charger. These pins are so hard to find with a camera in my hand. I'm gonna put this down, hold on. I found a box or bag it might be in. Let me just get a close up picture of it. Okay. 55. Yep. Here it is. It's an iron workers pin that we sold for $18 after the discount. But that, yeah, then Saturday night when we got home, I spent pretty much the whole time cleaning my office upstairs. Now I did actually sell a giant lot of pins at my whatnot auction, it was like, I got it in Los, Los Angeles. It's a big box full of Rottweiler pins, like Rottweiler competitions, breeding competitions, just dog, dog competitions in general. And it sold for super cheap. <laughs> I was a little disappointed, but whatever. You know, it's a risk you take with selling and whatnot. Um, Someone's gonna make a great, a great profit on that. But I also made a great profit percentage wise because I had watches and pins and the watches I sold for like eight bucks for four. And then the pins I sold for, I think 12 bucks. I think I got 20 bucks out of the two things that, that were in there. Like I sold them as two lots and I paid five bucks for them all. So nice profit anyways. Fast Times at Ridgemount High, LP Records sold. Classic movie that I've never seen. <laughs> I really have never seen that. Is it good? I know it's like hugely popular. Maybe I need to watch it. It's like uh, the whole flash dance one that you guys say I should watch. Um, I should probably watch it. But yeah, oh, I was talking about, but I kind of dropped off the topic because I do that sometimes. If you watch my show, you'll know uh, that I was buying a lot on whatnot. I bought a lot of Funko Pops. The other thing I bought a ton of was uh, Death Pile Picker has been auctioning off a huge lot of these keepsake ornaments like like this one this is a keepsake batman ornament like a huge lot i don't know where he got them he must have gotten a deal because he's doing like them on whatnot with like two dollar starts and you know it's, it was his first weekend doing whatnot and so i was trying to support him he's he's done some really nice things for me in the past he sent me like or he handed me like a big bag full of brand new plushes with tags um at the 127 so i figured i'd go on there and support his auction oh man it's it's tough what i'll say is it's tough like if you're new and don't have an audience only do two dollar starts or one dollar starts if you have a super low buy price my only guess is that Mike must have had like a 50 cent or 25 cent a piece buy price on these. So every one he sells for two bucks is a profit. Otherwise he's losing a lot of money because a lot of them were selling for between two and three dollars. Like I bought a bunch for two or three dollars and I don't think they would have sold at all if I hadn't been in there, some of them. So I don't know, I think it's good. He, di he didn't seem upset. So I, like I said, Mike, let us know in the comments that like your buy price must have been great on those for you to be selling them for so cheap and seem seemingly decently excited about it. And I totally get that. If you buy a bunch of stuff for 10 cents a piece and you can get two bucks and then after fees, it's like 140, 130. Yeah, you're making a lot of money and it's pretty easy to just sit there and run ornament after ornament after ornament. But I'm, my buy price is pretty high. Like I need to find a way to make profit. I know some of them are really good and some of them are not. So like there's gonna be a, quite a few of them that I bought that are worth five bucks and I paid two plus shipping. So really like three, 350 a piece. But my thought is there's enough good ones in there that I'm gonna make a profit. Like I know one of the Mickey ones I got is worth like 35 bucks. And I think total I spent with him probably was like a hundred dollars, maybe 200. <laughs> I bought a lot. I did it over two nights. I bought a lot, probably 150 bucks is what I spent with him total. And uh, I'm pretty confident I'll make a profit because I think I probably got the plus ornaments, 50 to 70 ornaments in there. So even if I sell them for five bucks a piece, I'll make a profit. But I think there's several that are worth like 15, 20, 30. I looked some of them up and like, remember there was a Barbie one I got that was worth 15. There was a Mickey one worth 35. There was another one worth 10. So I should make a profit. I also could just auction them off on whatnot myself. Um, although there's a bigger chance I'll lose money doing that, but it would be quick. And Tina might actually like listing them. So we might just list them. Uh, and Callie wants to keep a couple. She was helping me. That's what she said. Sealed game. 
I got the set of yard sale for, uh, I don't remember how much, I'm sorry. I think it was recent, so maybe you can let me know in the comments how much I paid. Uh, I should really track that, but I'm bad at that. I didn't pay more than five. There's no way I would have paid more than five, but I could have paid as little as two. So sold it for 12 bucks plus shipping. I almost kept it because it sounds funny. It's like uh, The Office, like mixed with Cards Against Humanity, I guess. Welcome to That's What She Said, a twisted game of innuendos. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think my mom would like it. Uh, that was a weird comment. <laughs> FL2. Well, my mom doesn't like inappropriate games is what I meant by that. FL2. We sold a willow tree and let's see. I want to look at the picture because I think I have a couple of them in this bin. Yeah, so a lot of buying, a lot of editing, a lot of recording, and a lot of holiday cheer this week, guys. How was your week? Let me know in the comments. I want to know how your week was, what you did, what you were up to. Uh, this, wait, I'm looking at FL2, not FL102. All right, sorry, wrong bin. Yeah, the, the most physically exhausting thing was probably the uh, shipping of the whatnot orders. But the other thing I have to do that I haven't really done is set up Christmas lights outside. So that might be a today job. It probably will be. Me and Anna might work on that. She's not feeling good. So me and her are just hanging out at home. But we could totally just, oh, here it is. We could totally just do some more Christmas setting up. And you know, I'm gonna edit these once that's done though and shipping them. Once that's all done, I'll have pretty much nothing else to do today. So should be able to get an even more, well, other than the podcast at 9 p.m. This is a willow tree. She's got her arms lifted in the air. She's got angel wings, sold for $9 plus shipping. And we sold something out of FL 104. So Tina told me something, okay? And I don't know if I buy it, but she told me that she likes shipping orders. Like it's something she enjoys doing, which I thought was pretty interesting because I don't. What am I pulling? Oh, a CD. All these ashtrays are in here. I accidentally put one of the ashtrays on auction, by the way. Let me show you. One of these ones, hold on, it was a metal one. The comps were showing pretty good, like 10 bucks or something, maybe $9.99. I think that might be what went wrong. I think I was trying to list it for 10 bucks. I'll show it to you. I can't remember which one it was, but it was one of these two metal ones. I think it was this one. Accidentally did a 99 cent auction. So I'll probably get 99 cents for it. And then I sold this Metallica, very mean. Look at that name. <laughs> sold for four bucks plus shipping. So basically pretty cheap. But yeah, she told me she likes shipping. She said like, it's a fun distraction. It's like, she likes that she can listen to music while she does it and just like focus on shipping. And it's just like therapeutic for her. So I'm trying to figure out the right thing to say to her that will make her excited about just shipping everything from now on. So I don't have to ship anymore. <laughs> No, I can, I still ship all the time, but I will at least ask her if she wants to uh, before I ship stuff. All right, so this sold, that's everything guys. Uh, and we probably split this up over two days. So I'll say from yesterday's video and today's, or just today's if it ended up fitting in one video, the weekend, the Thanksgiving weekend, which is basically from Wednesday afternoon until now, we sold $732.56 worth of items, 28 total orders. 30 items. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe for more of this really boring content. Bye-bye.